Less than 30 minutes later, a crash on a busy street in West Dallas killed an 18-year-old and injured four other people. West Dallas police believe speed and alcohol played a role here. Our Aaron Maven spoke with the heartbroken family of the young woman killed. At 60th and Burnham, just inches away from the memorial honoring her life, there's still evidence of what led to Marixa Zapata's death. She was only 18 years old. Family says Zapata died after the car she was in crashed here around 12:30 a.m. My family's feeling horrible. I, I, that was my little uh, cousin. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's really messed up. Before the crash, they say she was at a family party and left with someone she knew. Her older sister, Jamila, says Marixa was a passenger in the car. She was smart. She talked back. <laughs> She was amazing. She was a hard worker. Police say the driver of the Pontiac Zapata was in, ran a red light and hit a Jeep. The crash caused the cars to leave the road, hitting two people outside a bar. I was worried about the other people, not just my cousin. Paramedics took the survivors to the hospital and police arrested the Pontiac's 20-year-old driver. Family says Marixa Zapata knew him well. I hope he gets to live with that guilt for the rest of his life that he took my sister. Police believe alcohol and speed could have led up to this crash that took a young life. Don't drink and drive. Please don't. In West Dallas, Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News. West Dallas police say the other people injured are 18, 50, and 53 years old, respectively. All are from Milwaukee.